Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to adjust facial features in a photo in Photo Director 365. Here is an original photo that I'll be using in this tutorial, and here is the same photo with facial adjustments I made. You'll notice that I shrunk the jaws and adjusted the chin, and you'll also notice a slight smile on the face. So let's get down to it. In the new version of Photo Director 365, You'll see these two options when you open the app. Click on Edit and it'll open Photo Director in Guided Mode. So first we need to import the photo. You can drag and drop it in this section. Or click this Add Photo button, which is what I'm going to do. Next, navigate to the folder. Choose your photo. And click Open. So here is a photo that I'm going to be using. I'm in the Guided section in the Photo Director app. In this left side panel, drop down People Beautifier, and then choose Face Tools. Here you'll see several options. Click on Face Shaper. In this section, check this box for Show Feature Points. And you'll see these points placed in the face in the preview section. You can then adjust these points manually using a mouse, like so. In this section, there are several tabs. I'm in the Face Reshape tab, which allows you to adjust the face, as you can see here in this preview. You can use this Width slider to adjust the face, like so, as you can see in the preview section. You can use the forehead slider, which allows you to adjust the forehead also, like so. The chin slider also allows you to adjust the chin, like so. And finally, the jaw slider allows you to adjust the jaw. The next tab is the Browse Reshape tab, which allows you to adjust the eyebrows like so, as you can see again in this previous section. The Eyes Reshape tab allows you to adjust the shape of the eyes. The Nose Reshape tab allows you to reshape the nose. And finally, the Mouth Reshape tab allows you to adjust the lips. You can even use the Smile Slider to put a smile on the face like I did here. You can use this View button in the bottom to see the before and after. Let me uncheck this Show Features Point box in order to hide the feature points. And as you can see, it's quite different when you compare the two images. Once you're happy with the changes, you can click on this Export button at the top, choose a folder, give it a name, and then click Save. But that's pretty much it. Well, hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.